This is FinTech Hawaii, Community Map. Hey, aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Gordo the Tech Star here, here with my good old buddy, Andrew the Andrew Security, security Guy. Andrew Security Guy, I'm how back, brother. We weren't even here last week. Right here. We're Vacation glad to be here. Is over. Vacation? I was working. Oh, yeah. Well, you've been gone for a long time. Holidays, as they say in Canada. Hol you were on holidays? I was on holiday. And how's, uh -huh. the, how's our favorite Canadian fan? Oh, the fans. The Hamish and uh, McGullible. Uh, Ivor McGullible. Or McForklift <laughs> and McGullible are doing just fine. So grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, and join us. We have no guests today because we're going to be talking about uh, my favorite, one of my favorite subjects. WTF? What, what the F? WTF? cryptocurrencies, and uh, in particular, Bitcoin, because a lot's happened in that space right now. Yeah, so, I, I got to get back in the market. You need to come back in the market. And this could, WTF stands for Why the, the Fork? Why the Fork? Oh. What's the Fork? Okay. And when was the Fork? Ah, okay. So, fork you all, and let's sit down here, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll figure out what we're going to do when we talk about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And right on. Like do you have a security minute today as well? Um, yeah, just I, I'm, I, I didn't prepare myself. Okay. Well, I always have security minutes. And, you know no, me. But. And in this exercise today, and we're going to do it in the second half of the show, because they have to watch the first half of the show, I'm going to give you real-time live a portion of a Bitcoin today. Yeah, you heard that. I'm right getting now, some free Bitcoin. That's how you get the game. trading at $2,700. If any of you get down here quick enough, Gordo, I'll give you some too. No. <laughs> So we're gonna. How many you got in there, man? <laughs> I'm, I'm a happy little camper. Um, so anyway, we got. We're gonna talk about the fork and what happened. Yeah. In, in the, in Explain that. that. So, but let me go back just a little bit okay. because. Um, but it's a great question. Because not everybody's even know. So yeah. give so a little. Give us a. For those primer. of you that may not have seen my first show on cryptocurrencies. Everybody <laughs> did. Uh, I know. But, uh, oh, the hits are like. Uh, it's in, got like eight thousand dozens. Hits. So. <laughs> <laughs> I explained the blockchain and how the blockchain was used to track all the Bitcoin transactions. Yeah. And so the Bitcoin is a one million character or one million uh, byte stream of data that is used to track and authenticate the transactions that goes on. Well, what's happened is, and I'm going to put this in real layperson's terms, what's happened is that transactions are supposed to be accounted for like that very quickly. Mm -hmm. But there's so much going on now that the blockchain is um, not processing the transactions like that. They're okay. taking upwards of a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. So, so for the miners and those that are that that are involved in keeping this thing working, which is global, um, it's not fast enough. So there was a lots of dispute and debate on what was the best way to uh, improve the speed of the transaction of the transactions. Okay. Because people want people two, want their money. People want their well, they want it to happen quickly and they want it to happen at a reasonable cost. That's true. It does need to be, yeah, because they're not paying for the transaction fee right now. Yeah, it's, or they're, they're paying, paying a very, 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 very little small compared so, to like. So speed is money. Right? Speed is money. That's how go. I look at it. Speed That's is money. Business. So, so there was there's a couple of trains of thought. One was you break that blockchain into two blocks. Okay. And and my simple analysis on that is so you can plot process the two blocks concurrently. Okay. To speed up the transaction, or the other one was make the blockchain bigger. 8 meg is the number, so okay. that that can hold more data and you can process it faster that way. Okay. So on August the 1st, what the fork? <laughs> so on August the 4th, <laughs> on August the 1st, it was announced that um, something would happen with Bitcoin when it came to the fork. It, now, um, it had already moved towards the separate blocks, the two separate blocks. Okay. But there was this desire on a large organization and groups of miners who wanted to create the larger blockchain. Okay. So what this essentially would do if this was to take off would give you more Bitcoin. Like double the amount. Double the number of Bitcoins, but who knows the value. But half, but half the value. Well, it's don't even, in theory, but it's, 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 like de it's, it's demand-based. Yeah, sure. it's like a stock Understood. split, right? Understood. But usually when a stock split happens, split happens, right? A dollar splits you know, you get two for one, and it's fifty cents, fifty cents. Right. This, in this case, there's no one knows, no one knows um, what the value of that Bitcoin split would be. Could be. Yeah, and it's yeah. called Bitcoin Cash. So no one because Bitcoin it, the, cash, cash is the new one. It's That's the, the new, new one. Yeah, B C H. If you look, if you okay. look it up. So no one knew whether this would take off, when it would take off. Because it was get launched, it was going to get launched by the miners and, and get launched. So it, on August first at twelve something UTC, um, the 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 launch occurred, 
and then everybody's sitting watching to see when the first transaction will get authenticated on, Use, on, on the new, new block. block. So now you're sitting on. So are these miners the same miners are now handling transactions they, for both? Both, both. So they're in early. So they're in, them. Or in early, and you know, they, and it's, it's a very, um, it's a very interesting uh, amount of discussion. Okay. There's all kinds of debate, and I don't pick any side of whether they should have gone with the, with the segwit, which was the split, mm -hmm. or with the uh, eight meg block. I'm not going to get and pick one side or the other. Um, because I'm not smart enough. I'm really not smart enough to say which one is better than okay. the other. So it's like maybe you know, they'll do both. Lo and behold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so the, on August the first, I'm up at UTC twelve ten. Watch this, the fork. What the fork? Nothing happens, right? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm sitting there and nothing is happening. So that's not good. So or maybe know, well, it's good for good, Bitcoin, but, then, but not for cash. But again, lack lack of understanding. Well, it takes transactions right some tra transactions mm -hmm. have to occur have to occur have to occur so um and there was lots of websites live websites and live um fork parties fork party there was fork parties and what the fork, what parties? The fork parties there was what the fork parties and there was all kinds of stuff going on all over the globe and, and blogs live blogs people talking about what's happening wow. and finally one hit um this is about seven hours into the switch um in around that so oh transaction has been noticed up on uh, noticed up on the web because you can track all these um, transactions that are going on. Sure. Sure enough, boom, someone sees one. Okay, here's one. Okay, then that creates another one. Then that so now, the momentum starts. Hmm. So and this is the transfer of volume of Bitcoin Cash. It's, it's actually the essential the creation of a new form of Bitcoin. So hmm. there's no transfer. Great question. So the but so when when the transactions started happening though those are new transactions using the new blockchain right which is in fact a new form of oh so the, so there was just like one or were there an equal equivalent amount when they split I guess I'm not clear yes, on the there volume is. there is so it's, there was so six, let's just say there were a million bitcoin now million, there are a million sixteen million bitcoin okay and sixteen million bitcoin cash bitcoin cash but no one knew if they're worth anything until we transacted until we, exactly you nailed it I got great it. So so the, no wonder we don't need a guess so if there's demand for them if i want some yes all right and now, so the first transaction was cheapest who know i who knows <laughs> who knows it's all speculative it's all speculative awesome. but you know right now uh, bitcoin cash is the number third number three Market cap. Okay. Um, transacted. So and it took seven hours for the first one. Seven hours to for show the up. first transaction. To show up. And then up. the transaction started. Started, started. to pile in. And that's is the reporting of them. They'd occurred already. they occurred somewhere, but they have to get posted, get posted on the, the, the all board. This stuff. So, huh. so here's the interesting wow. thing. So, so now we'll just back up a little bit because this occurred, and um, but I'm sitting on Bitcoin, and I have them in different locations. I have them in a wallet, which okay. I'm going to move some to you. I have them in exchanges. Okay. You know, so what happened is the exchanges, at least the ones I was involved with, all said that um, when August 1 comes along for a certain period of time before August 1 and a certain period of time after August 1, we're not going to allow any exchanges because we don't know what's going to any happen. Any transactions? Any transactions. On Bitcoin? On Bitcoin. Okay. So I could use Ethereum. I could do sure, Ethereum. Sure, but they just didn't want to They didn't want to. But they didn't want to mess the around. The volatility. Because the volatility, it possibly it could get hacked. Okay. Because you're splitting the keys. Okay. Your private key could get divulged. Oh, so there was a big concern ugly. on that. So a, a lot of us moved stuff into private wallets. I left a little bit in the, um, uh, in the exchange because I wanted to see what was going to happen. Okay. Because you know, they just, it's like, well, what's the, di what's the difference going to be? And so, and, and just watched over time. Yeah, because it's, it's, it hasn't. Has, have any of the other ones ever split? Let me ask you that question. Has, has there been another fork? Uh, not, not necessarily a fork, but a similar type, like Litecoin. So there's Bitcoin and there's Litecoin, which was created for the same similar reason, make the transactions f faster. Okay. So Litecoin is another form of Bitcoin that's out there um, that was created be, um, to establish faster transaction processing. And did it, and it's forked. In its it lifetime. For, I, I, you know, I wasn't there when it happened. Uh, it, we'll just say it was a, another kind of split. Okay. I'll just call it From that. Bitcoin? From Bitcoin. Oh, oh, oh I got you. I so, got you. Okay. So, okay. and I'm looking I at see. my phone here because I want to just see what's happening. Because Litecoin is still one of the ones that's, um, it's still very much in the hunt of what's going on. Um, but it's, it's the number. Of, so, Litecoin now is the one, two, three, four, fifth largest cryptocurrency in the market today okay. trading at about forty two dollars a litecoin okay not bad so i said well i mean since the the inception of bitcoin itself was started in the 
2009. Half a, half a penny or a penny or whatever it was. Or whatever it was. Yeah, 2009. The, volume, the, the value is very the low. Value, the value is so, very low. So this Litecoin's done amazing. So it's well, done. So it's like, so done amazing. So I'm just looking here. Bitcoin Cash now is at $414. Seriously. So when so so the split was August one. That was yesterday, dude. That was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and so as of, as of this right now, um, Bitcoin Cash is trading at. I want you to give me some of that pretty soon because by the time the show's over, it might be five hundred. <laughs> so it, here's what's interesting. So two of my exchanges announced that when the Bitcoin um, fork would happen, they would accept it. Oh, the new, the new currency. The new currency. They okay. would accept it, and so you would get. Um, an equivalent number of Bitcoin Cash coins, not dollar value, but coins. So if I had five Bitcoin, okay, or, or whatever, so whatever, whatever your volume of Bitcoin on August one, you got an equal number. So in August three or four or whatever, I'll get five more, but Bitcoin Cash. So now I have ten. So it's for, so for no charge. For no or, charge. Well, that's interesting. Gets fed, isn't it? It's just—it's just created creating it, currency, it but, and, created but the value is from the demand. We got—I got to remember what creates so the value the for it. So here we now. My I'm, brain don't work that way. Well. I know it's tough. My brain don't work that way. So here I'm sitting now on, and and one and my third exchange just sent me an email about a half an hour ago saying, um, "You were wondering what we're going to do. We've announced that on August fourth for everything that you had in your, um, in your." Bitcoin account mm -hmm. on August 1st at the time of the um, fork, we're going to give you an equivalent number of Bitcoin cash. And so is that, will it be value based? So let me ask you a question. So for example, if you had a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin yeah. and let's say that's one, and let's just say, for example, that Bitcoin cash was worth $500, yeah. would you get two Bitcoins, two Bitcoin caches? No, you get one Bitcoin cash. So one to one, one to one, not, uh, the, not the value or, or the gotcha. Okay. So if it was a thousand, interesting. Yeah. Let's so say, that so leaves it. That's interesting because it keeps that speculative sort piece of in there. piece in there, like because it could be not worth much or it could be could be worth, worth whatever the demand I had, becomes. I had no idea. So I had no. I had no you idea. You could like double your money. For well, how about you got fifty percent, five zero percent? Yeah, that's crazy. Or twenty five percent. Yeah. Or whatever. Or ten percent. But now, but or ten. But then, but now you're sitting on this thing. It's still new, and how how fast. Or can I move it to fiat currency, like yeah, to something real, to real, to real money. money? Yeah, yeah. So you know, how fast can that happen? Oh, it's, so yeah, is that still to be determined? Well, it's so still no one's but, taking it out of the Bitcoin there's, cash there's, environment. There's billions of dollars with a B in market cap in Bitcoin cash already in a couple of days. Really? In two days? It ain't been two days. It's been two days. It's so it's, and a half. It's, 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 we're it's, in Hawaii. Sorry. We're in Hawaii, but I mean, it's just so. Oh, wow. And I know this is this is. This is like mind mind boggling, right? It's like how well, do you it's, it's it's value creation from nothing other than demand. Supply and demand. And I can so now I can convert well I will be able to take my Bitcoin cash and convert it to Bitcoins. Bitcoins. Which is Bitcoin would be smarter. Or not. Which might not be a bad idea. But it but might be hard to say. Depends. It's your investment, right? Was it goes up and down or whatever. So the so the and so there's the other one, like Ethereum. Can you convert Ethereum to Bitcoin yes. as well? Okay. And, and I can so, do Bitcoin to Ethereum. So what, that just comes down to who likes what? Could be. I mean, if everybody decided to use Ethereum, then the other ones would be valueless and the Ethereum would be valueless. If the whole world would move. But it's like, like I'm going to buy yen versus uh, yeah. rupees or whatever or yeah. pesos or whatever. Weird. It's whatever you want to go. And it started with no cash. It started with... Some people have bought it. Well, the, invest, the investors invested. I, oh, there was an initial investment. Oh, yeah. There's always been initial investments. Of how much? Do you know? Millions. In Bitcoin? Yeah. Millions. To create it? Yeah, because you had to come with base cash. I see. Where, where'd that go? It's... Oh, it, like, <laughs> like this. Into the ether. <laughs> lots of lots of, lots of it. And I don't know how they taxed it. Anyway, I, we, we, we're getting... Into, and I love this conversation because it's, it's two people that are not experts in it. I'm but, learning. But we're, we're learning about the whole thing and how it works. Anyway, Gordo the Techs are here. Andrew, the security guy. We're talking about what the fork and what's been happening with Bitcoin over the past couple of days. We'll be back in a minute with Angus. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, which streams live on thinktechhawaii.com, uploads to YouTube, and broadcasts on cable OC16 and Alelo 54. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech.
Aloha, my name is Raya Salter, and I am the host of Power Up Hawaii, which you can see live at, from 1 to 1.30 every Tuesday at thinktechhawaii.com and then later on YouTube. I am an energy attorney, clean energy advocate, and community outreach specialist. And on Power Up Hawaii, we come together to talk about how can Hawaii walk towards a clean, renewable, and just energy future. To do that, we talk to stakeholders all over the spectrum, from clean energy technology folks to community groups to to politicians, to regulators, to the utility. So please join us Tuesdays at one o'clock for. Hey, welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii. This is Hibachi Talk, and today me, the tech czar, and Angus is here off the beach, and we are talking about what the fork, cryptocurrency. How you doing there? What's up, Dude, Angus? Nice How you, you buddy? Man. It's awesome. What did you bring some gadgets for us today, man? Let me I, fix your tie I, I, a little bit. I, 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 I've, sharp. Been, I've been traveling. I oh. missed you, man. I was in Canada. I, I mean, you guys travel a lot. Yeah, so I'm a gullible and McForklift. And how are they? Yeah, they're doing just fine. I think they're watching today. We'll we, give them a shout out. We had a few beers. Oh, I they bet you did. You have a few beers everywhere you go. A highlight, I said. <laughs> hey, so Drew, I'm a wee bit pissed off at you right now. What for? Yeah, because I just understand that, you know, my favorite gadget of the week, Copay. It's a Copay wallet, right? Uh, okay. I, I, keep, I keep my cryptocurrencies on my Copay wallet. Yeah. yeah, you know, and I understand that Gordon's going to give you a wee bit of Bitcoin on your oh. Copay wallet. Well, that's, that's what I understand. Well, you never gave me well, any. But don't be mad at me. He's a cheap son of a gun. Well, you never two. gave me any. Yeah, but we're related. <laughs> anyway, it's going to give you a few Bitcoin. And tell you what you're going to do. Next I, time, you're going to give me a few Bitcoin. Yeah, we'll swap them around. Okay, good idea. That's, a, that's what you should do is share them, I think. Uh -huh. it's great, great, great idea, lad. Yeah. yeah, let you share. Let you share. Okay, that's all I got for my gadgets of the week, and like I say it every show, let your Bitcoin gang free, whatever you be. Hello? <laughs> Angus, what's some Copa? Hey, if you want to make a donation to Think Tech Hawaii, send Angus some Bitcoin. I'm sure he'll distribute it uh, fairly, amicably, whatever yeah, the word. And might whatever be. we'll do, we'll put it up on. We'll put Angus's um, public key up online at the and beginning let's see of if every people show. Just donate. And you can scan it and donate some yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah, send him a tenth of a Bitcoin. Yeah, man. it's going to be the fun. Guy out. So, All right, we're, we're, we're talking so cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency today. Yeah. Cryptocurrency, the fork of Bitcoin, and what's happening in the industry. And, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had Russell Cossignaro on, and he talked about, you know, the three different ways you can get Bitcoin. One is you can, you can um, do a transfer, like we're going to do in a minute. Okay. Um, you can go to an exchange, or you can go to a, uh, an ATM machine. And there used to be one, and there may still be one, at the coin shop up on Bishop Street. I've got to go up and there you can and put money in. And you can put money in and, and get and get and a you key. Hold your, it shows you something. And something sends you, uh, send you like we're gonna do. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna show. So, so, so if you want to know how to get some Bitcoin, find Gordo. He or just gives it away. Actually, there's <laughs> if there's websites, and I don't necessarily encourage this. There's websites where the, actually there's people on websites like Craigslist saying, um, "I've got some Bitcoin for sale. I'll sell them to you for cash. For cash, and then you do a funds transfer from your PayPal account, and then they'll send you. But Bitcoin. you're dealing with individuals. Why would you do that? Well, because you don't know how to get Bitcoin. Oh. Or you don't know anyone. Well, we know, we know on Hibachi Talk you can get it from yeah. Gordo. This is the trick. So, but you can't get it from Angus. Anyway, I'm going to move this out of the way. So anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but right here, here's my, um, um, my iPhone. Let me put mine in receive mode. Okay, and this, this, is, is, this is my, um, this, is my this is my key. This, I'm going to send um, Andrew some Bitcoin. So you can see there's Andrew's key, and here's my key. And we're going to send Andrew some Bitcoin. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, yeah. send. I'm this going to, is how you get paid. On I'm the going to send talk. Andrew. And so I'm going to look at. I'm going to scan his key, right now. Okay, just scanned it. It did it that fast. Yeah. And I'm going to send you point zero 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 five point zero zero five of a Bitcoin. So I'm going to send okay. him point zero zero five of a Bitcoin. I'm going to do that right now. Sending it. I'm going to slide the transaction over. And it's creating the transaction right now. It says the transaction has now been created. That's awesome. Payment sent. I'll say OK. And within, within a few seconds, you oh, should be getting. I got a, there it is. So right in that period of time, I sent Andrew. 0. 0.005 Bitcoin. Yeah. I point, sent a 0. 0.005 Bitcoin. So and he, this is actually worth about 13 um, bucks, we think. Yeah, well, we have to go back and look and see what the market says. So, Try and transfer that kind of money um, using a bank. Yeah. How Look long how does that take is. you? Oh, yeah, it'd be a nightmare. And I just picked that dollar amount. I could send him $1,000, $10,000. It'd probably cost me less than a dollar to send him this. 
And, and if it was $1,000, it was the same amount. Yeah, last week they did show us that he showed us the transaction fee for the one that you got. He gave, sent you like 50 cents or yeah, something. Yeah. And then the transaction fee was like 0.00012 oh. pennies. Or so something. 0 0.005 right now is $13.40 US Thank dollars. Thank you. So you have, you have I'll enough just to take pay you for out parking. for a libation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll they cover my parking. Pay for your parking. But so, then, I don't know if my tar parking attendant will take Bitcoin, but they should. But they should. See? So how easy that was? But see how so so because imagine you have to put the Visa card in there. So I imagine not if, that I don't like Visa. Though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> guess what? I just ordered a Bitcoin Visa card. So is it have lower transaction fees, or is Visa Visa does Bitcoin? Well, this is a Visa. How's this work? Yeah. How's this work? And I I just ordered <laughs> it. I'm going to get it in seven days. I loaded it up with Bitcoin. Okay. With, with, and equivalent U.S. dollars. I will now take that debit card. And be able to go to anywhere, like it was my debit card. It's the dollar amount on it is actually Bitcoin. Right, right. But the and I'll scan it in, and whatever the value of Bitcoin is at that point in time of the transaction yeah. is what the retailer will will get credited in from. U.S. cash. Wow. From my so there's a lot happening there. Bitcoin How's that? Credit card. So how? Who owns? Is that an exchange that owns that? So it's or a, an organization a and um, a, a group called Uphold, which is another. You can go Uphold, to Uphold. Okay. Uphold and um, Russell talked about that on the show. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Yeah. So I actually have that app for my business and my and my app for myself. So that if someone wanted to pay me in Bitcoin, any client wants to pay me for services in Bitcoin, I give them a ten percent discount. That's awesome. So if you're going to pay me in cryptocurrency, you get a 10% discount on your bill. You heard right it right there here. There. Right then and there. You can get the man. You get the man. So Because I'm willing to play that, that opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and so remember, Russell was talking about you know, um, Wampum, which is the name of his company. They're, they're going out and starting to um, move into retail stores. Where yeah, retail he's trying stores. to get POS systems Ex that convert to systems that would use a card that like will, the one you're going to have. Yeah, the one I'm going to have. Well, or this. Or even better. Can you, tell, can you imagine we talked about parking? So I imagine if I could drive off to the parking station and it said, oh, we accept Bitcoin here, and I hit the button, and their key comes up, and, yeah, and, and I go like this, yeah. and out I go. And you go. Done. Not put the ticket, then put the, the card, and all, and all, all the things. I guess they may still need the ticket, but. Huh. Still need the ticket on what's going to go on. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, so this is, so this is a, an example how you and I just did a financial transaction with no yeah. third party. And look how easy. No bank. And, and totally ledger. Maybe we should talk about the ledger a little bit. So the ledger is so, for blockchain. Yeah, and so this, this transaction is, is defined. It can't be faked. It can't yep. be only a volume of it, when it occurred. All that stuff's handled yep. by this ledger. And the ledger is publicly available for anyone to look at any time to see. They could see this transaction of ours on these ledgers, right? right. That are certain exchanges support ledger viewing or whatever. I remember him talking about that. Yep. I don't um, So let me just want to check and see. Where so, is the Bitcoin ledger? Is it like on Google? Can you Google Bitcoin ledger? Yeah, there is. There's, um, um, go back and look at our other show. We mentioned one of the websites you can go to, okay. and it shows all the transactions that are going on. Actually, I can pull up. Millions, I mean, I'm sure, but nonetheless, so, but so you remember, can find it. We talked about the first half of the show, the dilemma about it takes long for the Bitcoin transaction to get authenticated okay. and by the blockchain okay we go to the two sure. blockchains or the one so here's what it so, so, so what it says and it says on yours even though you've got the um, the cryptocurrency in your wallet in mine it oh. says confirmation it's still unconfirmed okay so the mining takes time takes time lo and behold the reason why they wanted what the fork why they wanted do you throw in your glasses on the ground no I knocked that world um, the reason the, um, uh, for the fork was they want this to not have to be waiting this long. Yeah, yeah. It's Understood. supposed to be happening at this point in time. Because they no. need transactions, is, especially financial transactions, need to be able to be done at speed. If you're ever going to buy a stock or something like yeah. that, you've got to be able to. <coughs> you got to be able to do it. So, okay. There's a whole thing in this Copay wallet. It's called View the Blockchain. So you can actually view the blockchain. It's insight. It's, it's called Insight. Is the, is the, and you can go into Insight, and it shows you actually the transaction as it's sitting out there on the web. Um, waiting to be processed. And I, that transaction cost me 0.00132 of a Bitcoin, whatever the hell that would be. But anyway, so that transaction is still pending, waiting for a miner to authenticate it. Okay. And multiple miners do will Do they authentic. bid to do authentication, or is it just first like... First in, mm, first out. FIFO, okay. And if you, at the, and we talked about this in my, one of my earlier shows, the miner that authenticates it also gets rewarded with a little piece. A little piece. Oh, he gets that some of that point. Some of that you'll get. That yeah, you'll get th fee. that fee. And so he gets the, the fee. And so and then that. Are there a, miners here? You know there may be, but the big miners now are North Korea, interesting, hmm. and China. 
Interesting. They have got um, data centers that do nothing but crank to authenticate these transactions because they get a piece of them. It's a way to generate revenue. Mm. Um, Can anybody do it? And, well, it used to be easier earlier on. I could, you know, I could set up mining, a mining computer and it would do it. But now because of the, the big guys and the processing power they've got in there, mm -hmm. pounding, they beat the, they're beating us to the punch because we're small. We can't, we can't look at all these transactions that are going on and, and authenticate them as fast as they can. They've got the processing power. Yeah, the but, but the how, how's the, do they just get round robin? I mean, I don't understand how they... No, do. it's like first in, first out. They, so whoever saw this transaction first, not necessarily saw it, they all saw this, whoever's mining saw this transaction. Now, whoever verifies it, which is called hashing... First. first uh, I got you. They got to hash so it. Gotta, whoever verifies it, hashes it first, I see. is the so. one that authenticates that transaction, and then from that transaction creates another transaction, which also has to be authenticated. We need to get a couple of them old craze, man, out of the basement. You bring, do something and have them crank up. But so, um, but there's, there's mining pools now where you can go become a member of a mining pool. Okay. Hope that, you know, so they're consolidating. It reminds me of, you remember when we used to, the guys that used to listen for UFOs? It was yeah. a shared, that's what it reminds me of a little bit, like that kind of idea. But it sounds like some people are taking it over, right? They're just they're not allowing they're not allowing the transaction to trickle down to the little guy. Well, just, they, they, well, they want to do it first. I mean, yeah. it's, it's in there. The big guys, the powerful guys, are in there. So it's going to be interesting. So right now, three hundred thousand wow. retailers in Japan take Bitcoin. Three hundred thousand retailers. And in in Amazon takes it. Amazon takes it. You buy it. You can and they do it through a Apple? gift card. Through a gift card. And does Apple? Yep. Yeah. Microsoft. Microsoft. Um, uh, Walmart. Kmart. There Target, you go. Costco. Target, depending where you Probably live. Costco. Um, uh, all kinds of uh, Remax London for real estate deals, and almost anyone would take this card that you're getting because it's it's actually like a cash card. It's a cash card, but it's just funded with Bitcoin. It's funded with Bitcoin. That's awesome. So, so you got it right? Do you think our viewers? Well, I got it? a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got to get started. Anyway, so this is uh, Andrew and I um, having this little conversation about Bitcoin cryptocurrency yeah. and what's happening in the market. What I find interesting is that I'm um, having these conversations all over town. There's not that many people, maybe around less than 10 million people worldwide that are still still in this business. Could be more after this weekend, but who knows? In Bitcoin? In Bitcoin. Or what, in cryptocurrency, in total, cryptocurrency. all of them yeah. combined. That's what I read last time. 10 oh, million. wow, 10 million. So that's, that's not, not a lot that of people. So it's, of people. you can still get in. So, well, but yeah, yeah well, I, I don't tell anybody how, how to invest their money. I didn't say you should. I said you could. You could. That's what I'm saying. You could. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this show. I mean, add this to the ones that we've done before. This is number five, I believe, in the wow. series on crypto. We might have to call it Hibachi Crypto, man. Yeah, cri yeah whatever we'll call it. So anyway, um, thanks for joining us. It's been kind of fun. Gore the Techs are here. And, and you're the security, security guy. guy. And like right we say on. at the end of every show, how, how you, you doing? doing?